Last time on career mode, Daniel Bryan got low blowed. He came out, offered us some respect, and we gave him a cheap shot. We swerved the world. Everybody thought I was turning a new leaf. Well, guess what? Heel Tubby says, I don't think so. And Daniel Bryan will take on Tubby Emu. Some people have questioned my actions as why I did it. Does it really matter? You're going to get a great feud between Daniel Bryan and Tubby Emu. And tonight we started off against Cody Rhodes. So we did give ourselves a different attire. DDP Yoga has been working great. Hashtag detubifying. Just like myself in real life. Because let's be honest. Stop making excuses. Get out there and do it. I have and I'm looking great. Maybe you haven't seen me. Because I, you probably actually haven't seen me. But you have seen the Tubby Emu Kaw in 2K15. And he's looking great. Now I wanted to keep the red attire. I thought the red attire made sense but since Daniel Bryan is the red attire and I'm sure he won't change his ways we had to spiff it up a little bit and a change so we decided to go with gray now you have known if you've watched my series that he does change up quite a bit we've had an FU Regal shirt we've gone from full tights to wrestling trunks we've changed up our hair changed up our beard because time flows in WWE 2K15 you know, time in between videos is like a month, two months, three months. Things change. And uh, the one thing I can tell you that won't change is Tubby Emu's dominance. Look at that. I don't think there's anything that can hold me back in this business as I've very rarely lost. The only match I've truly lost in the last two months was against William Regal. And we put up a hell of a fight, I'm not going to lie. Daniel Bryan was the one that helped train William Regal and help us overcome. William Regal hit that big running knee and knocked this out. Well, now we're going for the guy. First, it was William Regal that mentored Daniel Bryan, and then Daniel Bryan taught him a thing or two to use to beat us. And uh, now we're going back after him. But against Cody Rhodes here, I'm not really too worried. Let's be honest. Cody really hasn't done anything in the WWE worthwhile in a long time. He's stranded in jobber hell right now. Stephen Amelli. Who the fuck is Stephen Amelli? I don't even know who that is. is that Air? I, I don't watch that show. So that is uh, just a little tidbit for you people telling me, Cody, Cody, you're facing Stephen Amelli. My response, who the fuck is Stephen Amelli? I know he's got a shitload of Twitter followers, but does that mean anything? Does that mean he's a star? Maybe you watch the CW. I don't. I haven't watched the CW in a long time except for Ring of Honor. Speaking of Ring of Honor, when you're in the ring with Tumby Emu, you should have some honor, some class, some decorum. And uh, you've seen what have happened against the jobbers such as El Hondero, Tommy Wall. Nobody's really been able to hold a stick to our candle. And like I said, William Regal overcame tremendous odds. We beat the shit out of him. We absolutely destroyed William Regal. He went out on top, retired with greatness. A win for William Regal over us was better than any title he's ever held in his career in the WWE. See, we're on to bigger and better things. We are going to be the next big thing. In WWE. Now, I know in this match, Cody Rhodes, as you can see, trying to go after us with these kicks. Trying to punch us now. We fire back. Now, there's been some debate and some discussion on which finisher I should use. Some people telling me that the neck breaker looks stupid on the knee. Some people telling me that what I'm doing, some moves look really dumb. And that I should stop it. And then the Tubinator was a great finisher. Or when I whipped out the lethal driver. The lethal impact. The lethal injection, whatever you want to call it, because some people called it a lot of different things. The lethal injection. A fat guy couldn't do that. People have been telling me I couldn't do stuff my whole life, and that's when I've overcame. I have used that power of positivity to propel me to odds farther than anybody could have ever imagined. As Tubby Emo on the outside sending Cody Rhodes face first into that mat. And that'll be it. Referee, just count it. It's over. I'll take a win by a count out. It doesn't matter. Pinfall, submission, count out. As long as we win, that's the only thing that matters. As we thought about it, the referee has screwed us before. I'm sure he's going to screw us again, but until he puts his hands on us or invokes us, as Cody Rhodes going to get counted out, no, he's able to get back in at the count of eight or nine there. Barely making it back in as Tubby Mu trying to get something uh, going to finish him off. Catches him. No. 
Thought he was going to catch him and go for a finisher there, but just plants Cody Rhodes face first. Just falls right out of the mat. Look at the power and the strength of Tavimu to lift Cody Rhodes that high up in the air. As uh, Is he going for it again? No. Winds have changed. Tavimu lays out Cody Rhodes. Now he's just playing with him. Now we're just playing around with our prey and sending a message to Daniel Bryan. I'm surprised Daniel Bryan doesn't run out to save him. Cody, this beatdown was caused by Daniel Bryan. That face-first turnbuckle shot right there, that was all Daniel Bryan. You know what? I don't think I really need to mess around anymore. Let's finish him off. Going for the Tubinator. Got him up top. It finished off so many superstars. Some superstars wasn't able to finish, but Tubinator out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Not really out of nowhere. But there it is. We are going to beat Cody Rhodes in the middle of the ring. One, two, three. And our climb continues on SmackDown. We beat Bray Wyatt. We beat Cody Rhodes. We're facing Daniel Bryan. Who is next? What is next on the path for Tubby? Who else do we have to beat? Who else do we have to take down? Who else do we have to end? As you can see, the strength, the power to pick him up. Spin him around, lay him out with a Tubinator. That is what we do, and that is what we do best on SmackDown, getting that one, two, three. So not much can hold us down, not much can hold us back. As, wait a minute, Daniel Bryan's coming out. Pissed about last week, the low blow that we gave him. Tubby's saying to just bring it. Oh man, Daniel wants it right now. Security's trying to come out and hold him back. But no, they're fighting. They're going after him. Daniel Bryan. Look at Daniel Bryan going flying at Tubby Emu. Security holding him back. This feud is heating up. As you can see, the top photo from last night was Daniel Bryan trying to aggressively attack us. Trying to get a cheap shot against us. Trying to do the, the low-handed thing. And sure, I low-blowed him, but come on. Tonight, we're facing Kane, his old tag team partner. As uh, Daniel Bryan, is he having a match? Is Daniel Bryan coming out to scout our match? I'm not 100% sure what's going on. But we're beating him down. A vicious attack from behind. I don't think he was expecting that. This does not look good for Daniel Bryan. I don't know if he can compete. So Daniel Bryan was having a match. And he tried to cheap shot us last week. So now we face his old tag team partner from Team Hell No. We'll see if we can take out Kane and continue our rise. There'll be three straight victories here on SmackDown. Maybe restarting this streak that William Regal ended. Okay, tell me, even I know that probably wasn't the smartest thing to do, to bitch slap Kane, because Kane can go to that place, and that place is usually kind of like the big show, flip-flopping back and forth as a uh, little bit of elbow and collar tie-up here, a little bit of chain wrestling going on. It amazes me, though, that they're putting us up against the caliber talent of Kane. Now, Bray Wyatt, I could understand. Kane, I'm not sure about. Cody Rhodes, no idea why. I guess nobody else was available. And sure, we probably picked him. We probably said, hey, we want to face Cody Rhodes. But Vicky Guerrero isn't really giving us many opportunities. We're going to have to start taking these opportunities for ourselves. Just like Kane took that opportunity to DDT us right into the mat. I do like the attire, though. And the attire is going to change quite a bit as Kane throws us off. Big boot to the face. Kane is in control at SmackDown. I'm not going to be Maggle Cole. I'm not going to send it to break. I don't, I don't believe in ad breaks. Well, okay, I do believe in ad breaks. <laughs> but maybe not right at that particular moment. As uh, Kane, get out of my ring. You are not worthy of being in my ring. Knocking him to the outside. As Tubby taking time to glow. we got to stay on top of him. Tubby's got to learn to just stay on top of the guy. Sure, he's winning all the time. Sure, he's only lost a handful of times in his career, but you got to stay on top of the dude. You can't take time to gloat. That is when something like that happens. See? But Tubby was able to stuff it, clothesline, taking down Kane, going right after him. This is the Tubby Emo I love to see. The Tubby Emo that stays vicious. The Tubby Emo that keeps attacking time after time. Uh oh. Again, Kane. Kane is trying to go to that well one too many times. He knows how to reverse out of the turnbuckle, but every time he gets taken out with that clothesline. Again, they're going to the corner. Now Tubby Emo able to put those shots, the elbow, into the stomach, the midsection of Kane. As Kane trying to power out. Kane trying to fight out. Kane trying to never give up. Well, okay, we don't need to be John Cena here, but we do need to finish off Kane. And let's be honest here. If we go up 3-0 on Kane, 
We beat Kane. I don't know if Daniel Bryan really stands a chance because what has Daniel Bryan done? It seems like every time we face somebody in my career, the very next month that person goes on to greatness. It seems like we are a kingmaker here in WWE. We're, we're the person that goes above and beyond. We're the guy that turns people into stars. William Regal was in obscurity before he faced us, and then he became a headliner, beat us, stole the show, retired on top. Or else he would have retired down uh, doing nothing in the WWE. As we're trying to choke Kane out. Just tap out, Kane. Just tap out. Kane not willing to tap out. Uh-oh, Kane pushing us off. Uh-oh. Tubby Emu. Face first goes Kane. I think he might have just broke Kane's neck. Team Hell No is going to be Team Hell No. He's never going to beat us right now. As Kane trying to have one last gasp. Trying to fight out. Trying to lay some shots down. As you can see, we're going after him. Kane picks us up. Side slam on the knee. Kane is trying to come back. Kane is trying to do the impossible. Kane is trying to beat us. Gets put into the corner, though. Tubby Emu. What are you doing? Tubby Emu backing up. Full speed. Rams into Kane. As Kane is woozy, Kane is dizzy. We're laying some shots. Let's put him into this corner, too. More shots to the midsection of Kane. Just wearing him down. Making sure Kane doesn't have that option to go to that place. What do you mean? Tubby was backing up. Tubby Moo, big knee to the face of Kane, and that could very well be it. Just go for the pin. No, Tubby thinks twice. He's not going to go for the pin. Now Kane. This could be Kane's opportunity. Tubby Moo reverses it, though. Tubby Moo stalking him. Wait a minute. Tubby Moo going for the roll-up pin. One, two, three. Kane has done it. Kane has done it. He managed to fuck up the match, and Tubby Emu rolls Kane up. So it wasn't a very, very decisive victory, but in the end, we get the roll-up pin as Kane looks like he was about to do something. But Tubby Emu continues his roll into facing Daniel Bryan. Nothing can hold us back now. As you can see, taking time to celebrate. What is next? What does Daniel Bryan have? Because we're on such a streak right now. I don't know if he's going to be able to overcome us. The devil's favorite demon. Well, the devil's favorite demon just got pinned one, two, three in the middle of the ring and still 3-0 on SmackDown. Tubby Emu.